What's up everybody, this is Fit, and I'm going to be making a video of the new Elemental Lord, or Mygrove skin. Uh, it started off with the original Mygrove, then they moved on to the Phantasm, which is actually pretty cool, and I've always liked the Phantasm skin, and I've always liked Mygrove too. Um, but also, uh, two days ago, came out with a new skin called the Industrial Lord. It's actually pretty sweet, I like it a lot. Um, it did change the animation of his first skill and um, just a much needed elite skin for a hero that has uh, had little attention and so we're gonna go ahead and start this off here I got a couple of friends in the room this is gonna be Soccer Ninja, Soccer Ninja 21 Mikey 97, Kiwi Bone Jr. Uh, Panzer Panda and Z Tiger are in my guild so that's gonna be a, a little bit of a challenge going against them so we're going to see how that works out, but I do look forward to making this video and playing some, some serious Mygrove. Alright, so I'm going to start off with a Frenames Blade and a Bone Flame, or no, Searing Orb. Then I'll get the 2.2 if I have it left. What was that? It's a little bit of lag here. So I've noticed that I've gotten a lot of subscribers lately and quite a few views, you know, in just the last... In just the last, like, week and a half to two weeks, I've gotten 20,000 views. I've gotten almost 200 subscribers, so everybody has just subscribed and is just checking out some stuff. Now, welcome to the biggest existing Heroes of Order and Chaos YouTube channel. I come out with all sorts of different stuff. Whenever a new skin comes out now, I like to do a video. Whenever a new hero comes out, I make a few videos. I only made one for Sidrix, and then I had a 1v1 low-quality video with me and Zarius, uh, one of my guild officers. So, yeah, I do the new hero thing. Um, there's tournaments that are in Heroes, Border, and Chaos that I sign up for. And uh, I'm, like, talking, not even watching. And so... Dang. Not good. The, uh, the tournament videos go on there. I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff. Sometimes I just do, like, random PvP. Sometimes I just show you guys funny things or glitches I've seen. Jeez. I'm dead. I'll save my respawn tokens. They're at our base now. Elf took out Inquisitor. Nut is just sitting there going away. I hope Evistic stuns her, then I can catch up. Nice. So this game's pretty intense so far. A lot of pushing going on. It looks like their paladin got disconnected though. Still it's gonna be pretty tough with an inquisitor. Ah.
Dang it. They keep doing that to me. That would be my guild mates. <laughs> keep killing me. It's Z Tiger and Panzer Panda. Panda rushes in and Z Tiger ults me with the ant card. so dead. Owned, Panda. You got owned. You with your charges. That team is putting up a really good fight for it being 4v5. They have more kills than us. It's 9 to 15 right now. But we're pushing farther because they have less. What am I doing? What am I doing? No. No. Dang it, Panda.
They can take him, can't they? No? Okay. This whole Doom Prophet business is really causing me problems. And I don't think this elf does enough damage to be able to kill the Doom Prophet, or any of them, really. Maybe? Yeah. Got no. Oh, nice job, elf. That was pretty cool. Oh my gosh, you can't even hurt the Doom Prophet. My guildmates are just doing such a good job right now. They have really good teamwork. Whenever the Ant Guard ults me, the Doom Prophet rushes in. It's kind of depressing. Hey, at least I have an awesome guild. <clears throat> But for those of you that don't use Mygrove or maybe even never have, his first skill is called Tidal Wave, and it is an AoE uh, skill that slows them for a very short period of time. His second skill is called uh, Bioluminescence, which is just some jellyfish that he puts out, and it's actually quite a bit of a longer slow. Um, no, ultimate does a lot of damage. Um, no! Panda just rushes out of nowhere, and I'm dead. Had a little bit of a screen shift, too. Micro's passive is really good. It's called Soul Shock, and it just uh, bluntly increases his magic attack by up to 60. At level 1 is 15, level 2 is 30, and goes up by 15. Level 3 is 45, and level 4 is 60, increased magical attack, which is uh, inferior to Groshia's passive, which increases it Excuse me, by a percentage. So my Grove might get some extra magic attack damage early game, but then 60 is just simply not that much after a full build. Uh, still significant, but not as much as like Roshia's, who gives you a percentage increase of like 50% extra. So he can get like hundreds extra magic attack. Groshia can have a thousand magic attack. Um, and then uh, Mygrove's ultimate is called Shock Field, and it is an AoE that uh, deals a, a amount of damage of a percentage of his maximum MP. So basically, if Mygrove has just like a ton of MP, then um, yeah, it just really destroys the enemy team. The uh, if you get, like, all Fur Names Blades with Mygrove and use his ultimate, look how much damage it's going to do. I mean, I think it does, like, 800 damage a second, which is a lot. Okay, I can't even get close to there. Panda! Every time! Every time I get close, Panda rushes me, and then the Ant Guard ultimate comes up. Ugh. We need a Guardian. That Jellyfish is going to hit that Inquisitor. Oh, didn't hit him. But the Jellyfish Slow, uh, or Bioluminescence, is actually like a lot longer of a slow than the Tidal Wave. For 2 seconds, it reduces it by 30%, and the Jellyfish reduces it by 30% for 5 seconds. So if you hit somebody with the Jellyfish, they're slow for a while. Really good skill. He has Mygrove has a ton of slows and can just really keep the enemy slowed so that your carry can take him out or whatever. <clears throat> Dragons back up. It's hard for them to push because their base is getting destroyed. Panda is really just wrecking me. He has 13 kills.
That's it. I'm getting defense. Should have just started out with all defense. Shouldn't even bot attack. It's not like I can attack anybody. I'm just dying. Ugh, we're all dying. There you go. Oh no, Panda's gonna rush me. I know it. Okay, Panda didn't rush me that time. I'm sure he could have, though. Always oh, killing me now. Panda to rush me again. <laughs> I'm so scared. He's just gonna kill me again. Oh, I hope I kill him. Yep. Again, it's just not happening. Profit has to be one of the most annoying heroes to me right now. To That's it. I'm buying all armors after this. If I start getting fed, I'm just going to start buying armors. I'm sick of dying. Going back for my first spider queens. I should just build all spider queens. Just get a whole bunch of spider queens over. Two of them are down. There's only two left. Oh, he's got an ant trap. Yeah, it's right there. I'm not falling for that.
Here comes Panda. <laughs> Rushing in. Finally. Guildmates are hard to kill. I'm just gonna sit here and make a trap. You can make jellyfish traps that can pretty much kill anybody in one hit, but the thing is is that the cooldown on jellyfish are quite a bit, so if you really want to make a trap you have to either have a bone flame wand or a burning blade and a lot of time on your hands. Or and you also need a little bit of luck too. I mean you can spend all this time making a trap but then they won't fall for it, so. We'll see if I can get him to do it. No. Couldn't our nut just take him over the jellyfish trap? <laughs> oh man. Not too fun playing against your own guild. Hey guys! Our base. Oh, that might be GG. Just got 4v5'd by my own guildmates. Mm, they played really well, though. And it was really tough for me to even do anything. The Doom Prophet kept going for me.
But my Grub is a really strong hero, probably more often when uh, when I don't play him. <laughs> but I'm okay with my Grub, I really am. I just had a bad game, kind of. And uh, my guildmates played really well and, and had a lot of fun. <laughs> Were we too mean to you? I don't know, man. You kind of kind of always went for me. But there you go, guys. This is going to be uploaded tonight. And thank you so much for watching HOC My Fake YouTube. A fun custom game on Rift at Sin Scald. I'll be coming out with a few more videos over the next couple days. Uh, so make sure that you stay tuned and watch out for those. Also, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And you can also watch me play Heroes of Order and Chaos live every day at my twitch.tv channel, which the link is in the description of this video. That's going to be it for now, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later.